go without seeing it too. Uh, I didn't know how real it was going to be. I didn't know how important it was going to be. But I know how important she is to me. And that's all that matters to me. So I think I've loved all the women. I don't think it's nobody. Yeah, I think I love all the women in this show. Uh, even the ones that didn't know I loved them. Before they knew that I loved them, I loved them. And she definitely is on that list. And I, I was like, who in the show? Of course, who in the show? I didn't hear no name where I was like, ugh, no. Nah. I was definitely did. I don't want to be with them. No, I love everybody. So, so and your whole everything is love and giving back and wisdom and understanding. And that's why. Okay. So this your See, I believe that's what she said. <laughs> Dina Dean, and she she um, does the old slave, and I do the new slave. When I wrote the piece, I finally tapped into what, what where I could relate to that. And when I did it, I read it back, and I, I read it for my husband and two of my friends. And um, just watching the crowd react to it, I'm like, I was like, dang, I'm not the only one that felt that way. And I'm like, oh my goodness, everybody feel this way. And um, I, it was just really pleasing to me to know that um, it's always pleasing when you do a poem and you feel like somebody else feels the way you felt. And that's how I felt. Um, the last poem was totally different. That poem was so easy to write. Ironically, both poems were only written because of a show I had to do with the sister. She um, she had a show a year ago, What's the Testimony Without a Test? And I was like, I don't really feel the same crap. I don't feel like I've been through nothing. <laughs> My husband's like, really? You ain't been through nothing? We just lost a whole baby twice. So I was like, oh, yeah, duh. That did happen to me. But sometimes I get real disconnected from my own pain because I, I like helping people. Like, I forgot, totally, I'm talking about when I lost my children, I wiped the tears. I was in the kitchen cooking the next day. Like, nothing that happened. I'm feeding people, people coming over to the house, checking on me. And I'm like, are you okay? Do you need a hug? Like, just real, you know, just totally disconnected sometimes. So when I wrote the poem, it was an outlet for me. And, um, as I was writing a poem and I was telling people what I was writing about, same thing, I didn't realize how many women felt that way, how many women have been through that, how many, I started looking at the statistics for it, and I'm like, man, like, every, out of pregnancy, I didn't realize how much of a phenomenon it is to have a healthy baby. It is not easy. I'm like, man, people have babies all the time, why me? No, it's not me. Any woman can go through that, and it's, um, it's a high, way higher rate than I thought it was. So, performing that last piece is always hard for me. But I know it's necessary. I always say this is my last time doing it, and I can't get away from it. I'm probably gonna have to say the poem for the rest of my say, life. <laughs> I just want to say, I feel, I keep doing that. I feel, I, I feel like I have to say it. I have never heard that poem and not cried. Mm. Even when we were on stage, like before it even got, got and I'm getting teary eyed now. But <laughs> even, it, yes. even before yeah. it was on stage, just hearing it for the first time and test without a testimony. For whatever reason, that poem always makes me super emotional. Um, I think it's, I think it's amazing. It's awesome. I really awesome. think, I really think it's amazing to be able to put your, um, your own story out like that, um, and then to just amplify it. Um, I thought it was amazing for so many reasons. Um, at the time, one of our sisters in the show was actually dealing with her own insecurities about being able to conceive a baby mm. and so when i hear her say it i start crying for the other other woman and i'm like okay <laughs> then i start thinking about my own life like i'm i'm 32 and i've never been pregnant or given birth and i haven't been told that i i'm not able to but those thoughts race in my mind at times so just hearing the poem is always so emotional and, and so um inspiring and it, it gives so much hope and it gives a total different perspective to what it means to give birth I just thought it was amazing, and I felt like I had to interrupt her to say that. <laughs> when we did the show again, May the 17th, I was still pregnant, did not know it. I did not find out I was pregnant until June 7th, and when I found out, I was already almost three months pregnant, doing this poem over and over again. The first time I performed it, like she said, one of the sisters that was in the show, she was struggling with her own pregnancies and um, well, we wanted to be pregnant. And by the time I did the um, poem again at another live event, she was pregnant. <laughs> I was like, 
Like, this is what, crazy. What's crazy is you said you was three months. You said it in the home. You was three months and had noticed. And now you just said again. And doing the show, you was three, three months and hadn't even noticed. Talk about scared. Speak a life. Speak a life. Yeah. 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 Speak a life. Yeah.